Now this traffic light that we're coming up on is called Collins Avenue, named after the founder of Miami Beach, John S. Collins. Down the street to your right, about a block and a half, is where you'll find a popular store called Dash that is owned by the Kardashian sisters, Chloe and Kim Kardashian. Once again, that is about a block and a half right here to the right on Collins Avenue. Collins Avenue, once again, is named after the founder of Miami Beach, John Collins, who was a farmer that grew such exotic fruits as avocados and mangoes. It's long green to see car bus. In fact, they still don't or brand new. Well, coming up over here on the right hand side is blue and white building. This building has been a quite a few different businesses over the years, but nothing compares to what it originally was. This was the world famous Fifth Street Gym. The world famous Fifth Street Gym that was owned one of the by the one of the greatest boxing trainers in the business of boxing, Angelo Dundee. Trained here was Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran. This is where Muhammad Ali trained when he won his first World Heavyweight Championship in 1964. Today it is a CVS pharmacy, but there's a plaque right there on the side of the wall, that little silver plaque, that is in remembrance of the world's famous Fifth Street Gym. And we're going to make this right here on Washington Avenue that is named after former president George Washington. And there's a quite a few streets that you will find throughout Miami Beach that are named after presidents like Jefferson Lincoln. Now this road is very popular for nightclubs and restaurants. And a 15 block radius from 1st Street where we saw Joe Stonecraft all the way down to 15th Street. You can count a total of 200 restaurants in a 15 block radius. down this road. Our next stop is going to be a couple of blocks up. It's called stop number four. Stop number four on Washington Avenue in Ninth Street. We're coming up on the right hand side, this is the original Gianni Versace store. This black building here that shut down in the year 1997 when Versace was shot and killed to in South Beach in front of this mansion. Once again, everyone, make sure you watch your headset. As we get a little further up to stop number four on Washington Avenue. Again, the Clinton, Hotel Clinton to your right. That is another Art Deco style building. And again, you'll see on both sides of the entrance is three windows and three stories.
around. Once again, coming up over here to the right hand side, this is stop number four. But this is also where the soccer star, David Beckham, wanted to build his soccer stadium. He wanted to close this area off and build a soccer stadium. But the locals said, no way. So now David Beckham is looking for another site here in Miami Beach to build that stadium. that is already open called the Perez Museum. And this one under, under current under construction is the Museum of Science Miami. That is sponsored by Patricia and Philip Frost. Dr. Philip Frost is a graduate of the University of Miami, a residence here in Miami Beach, and he's also the creator of Viagra. Once again, this is Museum Park Science Museum. Now over to the right hand side on that elevated track, you'll see that little train that is an electric train that will take you around the downtown Miami area only. The radius of Swiss Mile for no charge and it's free from 5 a.m. until 12 midnight. Now we're going to be getting on to the New York Causeway. So if you have any hats or anything that fly away with the high winds, make sure you secure them tightly and you will fly away. Oh, yeah. 
Niagara has a $58 million mansion on that island. The second biggest mansion on that island is owned by a Brazilian developer by the name of Susha. He has a $39 million mansion on that island. I said the one that island is called Star Island. Now on Star Island over there to your left hand side, you'll see that big white building right there. That is a mansion with the red top. That was used in the movie Scarface with Al Pacino and Michelle Pfeiffer. That is that big mansion to the left. It was again used in the movie Scarface. Now as we continue to make our way here, this road that we are currently traveling on is called the MacArthur Causeway. Named after a World War II veteran, Douglas MacArthur. This will open in February 17th, 1920. So again, next month it will be its 95th anniversary. slow up traffic if anyone's going to the beach. As you can tell, this is the month of January. Probably the only place in the world that you can go to the beach at this time of year. Now Christmas Day, you can even go to the beach. This is our winter here in South Florida. So aren't you cold? Coast Guard divisions in North America. Now as we go up over the Silver Path, if you look to the right, all the way out in the far distance, that is called Fisher Island, one of the most expensive and exclusive zip codes in the United States. There's only two ways out there by boat and helicopter. Oprah Winfrey, Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts, as well as the uh, tennis star Andre Agassi all have condos on that island. Now, to be a member of that club is a one-time fee of $250,000, and there's a $25,000 membership, no, oh, every year membership. $25,000, and that is called Fisher Island. Now, that big yacht that you see over to your right, that belongs to one man that owns a total of seven of those yachts. His name is Mickey Arison. He is the owner of the Miami Heat basketball team, the American Airlines Arena, and the CEO of Carnival Cruise Lines. You see that red flag with the shrine in the front? That means that the basketball team has no games. They're not playing any games tonight. When that flag flies white, that means the Heat is playing here in Miami. When it flies black, that means the Heat is playing in another city or state. Again, that is Mickey Arison's home. He does not have a home here in South Florida. He lives there on that boat. That boat has a total of four bedrooms. One being the master bedroom. Again, he has seven of those yachts. One for each of the seven seats. Now the flag that is flying right now on the front of that boat, that is the Carnival Cruise Line flag. So again, that means that he does not have any games. Excuse me.
officially on Miami Beach. This is Miami Beach. This road that we're traveling on is called Fifth Street. To the left is known as North of the Fifth. To the right is known as South of the Fifth. Back in the 1950s and 60s during segregation, South of the Fifth was known as the ghetto. It was a poor Jewish community. Jewish people were not allowed on the north side. They were isolated over here. That didn't stop them from prospering over the years because this is still mainly a Jewish community. However, today, it is one of the most expensive areas in Miami Beach to live. Watch your heads, everyone. This is stop number two, Miami Beach Marina. We're good, buddy. Once again, we're going to continue to make our way here, everyone. If you look at that big orange looking building directly ahead of us, that big orange looking building is called Portofino, named after a city in Italy. At the very top of that building is a two story condo that sold for $19.8 million. It has a champagne bar on the inside of that building that is called the flute, like the instrument flute. They offer desserts starting at about $300 for a dessert. It's amazing. Now the other building that is sit right next to it over here to the right hand side, that is called the Apogee. Living in that building is Hulk Hogan from the TV reality show Hogan Knows Best and a former professional wrestler, Hulk Hogan. Once again, that building is called the Apogee. Those condos start about $1.6 million. to the left, continue to make our way here through south of the 10th. This is also South Beach. Our next stop is going to be stop number three. That is called South Point Park. Once again, South Point Park. One, make sure, once again, you watch your heads. Watch your heads there. This is stop number three, South Point Park. Good, good. Now over on the far left hand side, that is the world famous Joe's Stone Crab. The first restaurant to open in Miami Beach in 1913. They just recently celebrated their 101st year anniversary. This is a celebrity hub. You'll see a lot of celebrities at night at this restaurant. It's been used in quite a few movies like James Bond featuring Sean Connery. As well as CSI Miami, Dexter, Scarface, and Cludine. Birdcage with the late great Robin Williams. Alright, anyway, we're gonna get right here to this stop sign and we're gonna make the left. This road is called Ocean Drive. Ocean Drive is gonna take us northbound. We're gonna go northbound just a little bit on Ocean Drive. Again, one of the most popular roads here in South Beach, Ocean Drive. This is where you'll find all the popular nightclubs, restaurants, hotels, etc. Ocean Drive, Party Central. Once again, as we continue to make our way here through South of the Foot, South Beach, we're going to be coming up on the first hotel built here on this road. It is called the Browns Hotel. The Browns Hotel is also a five-star restaurant that is called Prime 112. Another place where you'll see a lot of celebrities is coming up over here on the left. Prime 112 Steakhouse. Now you'll see a lot of cameras flashing at nighttime. The majority of them will be the paparazzi. Coming up over here on the left hand side, that is going to be called Art Deco, Art Deco Design. We're going to be going through the Art Deco Design District in just a little bit, but these are Art Deco style buildings built in the 1930s and 40s, used in quite a few movies like Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart. 
etc. Quite a few movies, Scarface as well. Now you notice a lot of these things have the shapes of cruise ships, as well as some of them are going to be shaped like spaceships. That was a very big design. Miami Beach has about 88 total different Art Deco designs. They're known for the three windows, three colors, and three stories. That was the majority of the Art Deco design when these buildings were first built. And as the years went on, they got a little taller, a little bigger. Mainly the three stories was because Miami Beach is a very hot area. Or South Florida is very hot. So they did build them that high so that the air can flow right through the building. Because at that time, they were not building buildings with air conditioners. Now the most popular Art Deco style building is in New York City. It is called the Empire State Building. Stop 3.5, stop three and a half, the Savoy Hotel, another Art Deco style building. Three stories, three windows, the Savoy Hotel. Real good, Bradley. So once again, you still see all the Art Deco. Now a little further us, you'll see a top, the building with the light blue top right there. That is called the Park Shore Hotel. That is where they filmed the movie Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart back in the days. He's looking at you, kid. Very, very good movie. Also, that is where you'll find one of the most popular Cuban cuisine restaurants called Ladios that is owned by the singer Gloria Estefan. That is also where Jennifer Lopez met her first husband who was working at that restaurant as a waiter. Didn't take her long to dump him, did he? <laughs> 